Hi everyone, my name is Brian Kaler, and this is my channel, The Elusive Panda. And today I'm going to give you three tips for processing your photos of Comet Neowise. You may have seen in the news that Comet Neowise has been approaching the Earth. It's a beautiful comet with a long tail, and I hope you actually got to see it and take some photos of it. So I have some photos and I'm going to give you some really easy ways to make those photos look pretty good. I'll have a link down below of the equipment that I use to take these photos. That's not the subject of the video today, but in case you're curious, it'll be there. And also, the photo that I finish here will be available as a wallpaper on my DeviantArt profile. The link to that is below. Okay, what are the three easy ways to make your photo of a comet or an astrophotography photo better. The dehaze tool in Lightroom or in Camera Raw. Optical and sensor correction, as in reducing the noise and then reducing the chromatic aberration. And last, throwing a lookup table on your image can really create some spectacular colors and contrast. So let's do each of those things with the image that I took a couple of nights ago. Here's my Camera Raw file. It doesn't have to be a raw file. If you have a JPG, you can actually open up camera raw from inside Photoshop. Here's our image, and I'm just gonna make a few adjustments really quick. For example, it's a little bit on the warm side, so I'm gonna cool it down. Oh, get some nice blues in the skies too about here. And just throw some quick contrast on there. I know the highlights of the comet are gonna blow out pretty fast, so I'll reduce highlights. And then the real tool here, the important tool, is going to be the dehaze slider. Dehaze will dramatically improve almost any astrophotography photo right off the bat. This used to be a time-consuming method, but now that dehaze is here, we can do it really fast. So you can see the dehaze brought out the clouds, brought out the stars. We can throw in some clarity. But one problem is that our image is starting to show some of the optical defects. All of the little stars have some magenta around them, and our image is looking pretty noisy. There's a lot of grain in it because I used a high ISO. So let's we'll zoom back out, and what I'm going to do, first of all, let's take care of all the noise, and we can do that by going to the Detail tab, and we're just going to take the noise reduction sliders, and we'll just put them up about halfway. Let's move them both up to 50. Regular luminance and color noise. We'll just make those about 50. Smooth out the background quite a bit, which is just fine. Next, I'm going to go to the lens and enable profile corrections, remove chromatic aberration. Now, there's still purple fringes everywhere. And to do that, we'll use the built-in tool for defringing. And I'm going to crank up this purple fringing and then I'm going to shift that correction towards red a little bit. And right away, that's going to eliminate a lot of the funky little fringing around the stars. So if I turn off the highlight alert, you can see now the stars are far less magenta than before. Okay, let's zoom back out. So we've got something really good to work with right here. It's a little bit dark. I'll bump that up some, maybe about here. Okay, so this is a nice starting point. You've got a beautiful blue sky, and we've applied dehaze, which was the number one tip. We've applied optical and sensor correction, that's number two. But what, what can we do to take this up another notch, to really make this stand out? The sunset is beautiful, the sky is beautiful, but we can give it additional character. Let's open the image, and now a very, very easy way to add some character to your images is to add a lookup table or a 3D LUT file. Now there are some LUTs built into Photoshop. You can download them from the internet for free. And in this case, let's just look through a couple of these. They give the photo a different character like uh, turning the blues into purplish colors, increasing contrast, or giving it a certain look. You might think of lookup tables as basically like filters. So I looked through all these, and there's one that I thought was really good. I'm going to go to that now. And that one was the Reeve 38. I really like the way this one looks right here. We've got this dark, beautiful, starry sky. The comet is very visible, 
and the sunset looks gorgeous. The only thing that I don't like is that the highlights in the comet are a little blown out. So I'm just going to make one little layer adjustment. I'm going to have this lookup table not affect the brights quite as much. Now, if you look at how that's affected the comet, it goes from being pure white in the middle to being a little bit more textured. We, we saved some of that texture inside the body of the comet by not affecting the brights as much with the lookup table. And that's basically it. Like, I'm very happy with this image just exactly as it is. It's really simple. We've just done three basic things. We've got lots of dehaze in Camera Raw that's also in Lightroom. So dehaze. And then the second thing is optical and sensor correction. Just reduce the noise and reduce the color fringing from your lens. And then the third thing is to apply a lookup table. Basically a filter that gives your photo some extra character, cranks up the colors and contrast. If that was useful to you, uh, if you have any comments, just post below. And again, I'll make this image available as a wallpaper on my DeviantArt profile, which is The Elusive Panda on DeviantArt. And you can find a link to that below. Thanks, see you next time.